everyone, Grace. it's Grace. And it's Grace. From Grace and Grace. Today we're going to be answering questions about fashion college because it's probably like our number one, if we ever do a Q&A. It's the number one I get so many question. DMs about it as well. Same. So what I'm going to start doing is just sending the link to this video. We're actually doing a video opening our college results. So if you guys, in a couple weeks probably, yeah. is it a couple weeks? Yeah. <gasps> August. No, August. August. Two months. Two months. So if there's anything we've missed in this video, let us know because we'll answer it in that yes. one. Yes. Um, but we thought, because we've just left, we've literally just left fashion college a couple weeks ago. We feel like we can spill the tea. We're also and meant not to get... still be in. Well, not in, but online lessons. But it's all about uni. And me and Grace have decided not to go to uni. So, so we're not going in. There's no um, point. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like now I feel like we can kind of spill the tea on what it's actually like. Because we've been very... And lucky. we can even just say the, the place. Yeah, we can. Should we just say it? We've been very like PG about talking about it because we've been going there. You don't yeah, you don't want to shit, wanna shit on it. the. Not that it was bad, but we don't want to like be say negative. The negatives and the. We were just saying the positives basically, yeah. rather than now we're going to be honest and say some of the negatives as well. Um, but the college is actually called Fashion Retail Academy. I'm sure, you've all heard of it. Molly May went there. A lot of influence. It's by been Tottenham Court Road, and it's like. It's a very, 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 very popular fashion yes. college in London. So it's two days a week, and you learn. Well, you can either do a fashion design course, or you can do a fashion business and retail course, which is what we did. Which is like the business side of fashion. Yeah. A lot of questions we're getting is how actually hard is the course? I think a lot of people don't understand the course at all. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so would you say it's hard? Right. Let's explain this. You don't have any exams. No tests no exams at all it's just coursework it's purely coursework. and it really if you think about it it's like a glorified powerpoint the you work just you do PowerPoint. is on powerpoint or you can do it on canva but it's a powerpoint basically but you do like a hundred slides of powerpoint with research and yeah like you you have to create like campaigns and stuff so it is i'd say it's more time consuming than difficult it's so time consuming. and i'd say the number one thing is time management with it yeah and also making it look pretty a massive part of presentation because you're meant to be like a creative student and you need to like show the development of your ideas and stuff so it's definitely more coursework coursework based if you're the sort of person that can roll up to an exam and do really well in it don't and go. just not revise don't go that's what i used to be like yeah um but i sort of learn i mean i don't think i've done that great because of again because of my time management i really struggled with exams but i would work really hard so it really work to me because there was no exams it was just purely working all year to the hard like to the best you could so it's not really about being it's not exactly i hard. think you need to have you do need it to have some academic you skills are. to do well because you need to be able to type out words and like <laughs> that's just basic knowledge no but you need to like you know research and understand i don't what think you it's research. hard i think it's just what how you learn and an also a massive part of it is independent it is completely it's basically it is pretty much learning. yeah like you're, you have teachers and they teach you lessons and all of that, but like it is basically independent. So if you don't do the work, that's on you. Like with secondary school, they bug you. They bug you. They don't bug you. It's not. College. It's not the same. As college. So if you don't do anything, that's on you. Like with Peace and Love, the first year you didn't do. I didn't do much, much a lot, but I pulled it together in yeah. the last couple months. But they, so I knew that's what the grade counted for. Yeah, but you didn't do a lot. But they didn't bug you about it because that's just on you. Yeah. So it, it just depends what kind of person you are if you'll struggle with it, I think. Do you know what I think? Yeah. It, it, it's, I'd say it's like less structured it's than a, lot than a school day. Like you just do the same thing all day, basically. What made us want to go to fashion college? Fashion. Our passion for fashion. Our passion for fashion. Well, it works well for us yeah. because we wanted lots of time to be able to do YouTube and it gave us three out of five days a week to do it. Um, but yeah, it was... It was to do with the fashion, obviously we love fashion. We wanted to be in London. We sort of didn't want to go sixth form because sixth form takes up five days. And it's A levels and B tech, which is a lot I think probably a lot more hard work. Than and it also is. we knew we wanted to if we didn't couldn't do YouTube anymore, we knew we wanted to go into like the fashion industry. Yeah. So it made a lot of sense. Also, if you do have a job, this is a great place that like, literally I think every single person I've yeah. had a job. If you have like, I don't know, a job that not full time but like quite a a big responsibility job it's really good because you can work on the side and make quite yeah. a lot of money a lot of people are also asking like how much it all cost so it is well it depends where you lived isn't it we used to have girls coming down from manchester, manchester. and that they would stay uh, stay in london and their tickets were like really expensive to get down here um 
So yeah, it all depends on where you live really. If you live in London, yeah. it's gonna cost you like four quid. It costs us like, it costs us like 15 to 20 pounds a day. Yeah, but then you're only in for two days. Yeah, you're only for two days, so that's, it's like 40 pounds a week, and then you're also paying for lunch. But you also lunch can bring pack lunches. lunches. Yeah, yeah, if you want to but it cheap. if you've got friends, like you're gonna wanna go out in London for lunch, and that's probably like 10 quid yeah. a day. That's if you have like a prayer if you go for yeah. like a pizza like, it's going to be about more than that if you're like 12 15 going quid, for a prayer it's probably going to come to us for is that prayer, 60 was pounds that a week prayer, 60 with train oh yeah with train about 60 pounds a week which is quite a lot of money actually yeah that is, if you think sick. about it that's kind of gross actually yeah 60 pounds a week did everyone dress really nice because it's a fashion college no one gave a flying no shirt. one i feel like at the start like in the first week everyone would dress in like really dressy things and then now literally now, no one like, cared no one cared like people would come in in track suits and us included I, yeah i wore joggers for the first year didn't i every single day every single day i just wore black joggers because you have to get up quite early and it's just oh we had to get up at like, you got up at like six every day yeah you? i got up at 20 past six it's an early start it's 9 a.m till 5 p.m so that's how they cram it all in oh and we forgot to mention this is like actually quite a big negative it's two three hour lessons is it three and a half hours or is it three you get breaks you get yeah you get breaks. 10 20 minute breaks but it's still like a three to a three and a half but then hour they kind lesson. of let you get on with what you want to do in the lessons so it doesn't feel like if you ever it's not as intense up. as it's not as intense in as being in school i would say yeah it's easier yeah because you're not like learning learning they're sort of just telling you they're how guiding to, you yeah that's it how i say a lot is. more independent as we've said what did you miss out on covid due to fashion college or what did you miss out due to covid on fashion college? everything literally if you think about it we wasn't in for like a year so we was doing online lessons for probably a Which, year in total not gonna lie with the most boring thing ever i know because you were just sat at your laptop literally until it. five o'clock it was like awful um but we missed out on two school trips to Florence, we were meant to go to Italy and, and then to like New York. And the options each year were like New York, New York Tokyo, Tokyo, Amsterdam, and Italy. Italy. Like there was a couple of places in Italy you could go. Yeah. Paris. It was so depressing because we booked our trip. Yeah. And then we couldn't go. So, yeah. It was, it it was rude. It's depressing. Actually. I mean, I reckon maybe not this year, but next year's we'll be able to go maybe if COVID's out the window. Who knows? But we missed out on a lot and we also missed out on a prom. Oh my god, we were meant to have a graduation at the end of this year, um, but obviously not having that. And then also, like, experience. We were meant to have work experience. Yeah, like, we were meant to go into... Bless, though. No, I'm... <laughs> Guys. I'm kind of glad we did Even if you have a proper job, if they don't care. They make you take, like, three weeks off. Yeah. You have to pay for your own travel, and then they find you a job at, like, MS or something. Um, in an office, in an office. It's good though for people it's that work on their CV. But like for us, we don't, we can't take we would be three, three weeks off. Yeah. We can't take three weeks off our job. I think they would have been lenient though and said like, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. No, because no, one of the girls asked, one a girl in our class had a really good job at M and and she asked, and they were like, no, Sarah. Oh. So because of COVID, miss, which was actually quite a plus. Yeah, for that's us. a blessing. And then but also school trips to like factories, Bist, even Bista Village, Bista Village, we missed out on museums, things like that. We missed out on as well. So we did miss. quite we actually missed basically our whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> like the things that made us want to go, we missed. Literally. Should we talk about like the friendship of it? Yeah, okay. Because it's hard, it is hard it's to really make friends. It's really hard to make friends. I think it's a really hard age to make friends. And also, because it's only two days a week, you literally don't see them. And also, everyone comes from different parts of the UK. So yeah. like, we're lucky. All of our group are from Essex. Mm -hmm. Um like different parts of Essex it's a bit far for us but still we made friends from Essex um but say you made friends that lived up north you wouldn't see them much would you no. outside of college but it's good because I'd say people have like really similar interests to you yeah that it's, is the that's the plus because everyone's got a bottom line that they want to work in fashion I just feel like it it took us longer to get closer with our group than it did our sixth form friends do you oh, see what I mean oh wait because we was in two days a week they were in a week a whole yeah. week so yeah. it takes you longer to That's kind so of settle true. in and I make like friends. All our friends were like making all, all these friends at sixth form. I mean, Grace were kind of like, yeah, we've, oh got, like, we've got, got no friends. We've not got a friendship group. Yeah, but you need to if you think about it, you have, half the, you have half the time they do. Yeah. Less than half. So I think we struggled with that. We, we definitely did. struggled with that. Because we sit on our own. We sat on our own. <laughs> we're like, it's just it's for, like, me and you. A month. It's just me and you for the next two years. And then we like made friends and then our college were assholes. 
be in the tea and they basically split our whole class yeah, up. Yeah, I thought that was bad. They literally split Everyone was already up. stressed about going back because of COVID. They split all our classes. They tried to split us two up. That it's, was a really, I just think that was a really shitty thing for them. Uh, they literally split our whole class. Every and it was just class. unnecessary. I, I just don't All friends and groups. After COVID, after not seeing your friends for so long, why would you then go and split up all of the classes? My mum and there was no was valid furious. there was no valid reason. My mum was messaging like the head of our year. We literally so <laughs> how no look at my mum's messages. She would literally But they just didn't change anything. anything. We just we just got moved class. Everyone wangled their way into the class they wanted, yeah. but it's like what was the point of causing that stress in the first place? That's like a really shit I, thing I just, that they do. I don't and if they do that again, like be warned that they might do that again. Yeah, they might that, do it in the second year. That really like And if they do just ring up and just refute just say I'm being in this class. Literally like for our second year we didn't speak to any of our classmates because we were all from different classes. Luckily we could say that we worked together so that's how we managed to get in the same class because if you, you need the same days don't you? Yeah. Um but yeah I thought that was that's probably one thing that pissed me off about it. But I just don't know I don't know why they did that. What I don't know what, what the other negatives was. do we have? I think negatives. Were. Okay so maybe if you I struggled to start with because I went from like a super strict Catholic girls school to this college in London that I was at two days a week and there wasn't much structure. Again, I'm really struggled. I was that. more of like an exam person. Um, but so even the fact, work, like the five days a week, you knew where you were. And then yeah. it went from that to like having three days where you were just like, what now? Yeah. I, I, str I did struggle a little bit with just the, change. the adjustment. It yeah. took me a while. And then by the time I adjusted, COVID came along. Yeah, literally. <laughs> to ruin everything. Um, yeah, I'd say that was maybe, I'd say that could, if you're the sort of person that just wants to be in school all day, every, if you want to stay young, babe, I feel like if you want to mature and grow up and move on from school, looking back, I'm glad I went there. It I would definitely not have gone matured to It matures you because you're li literally there two days a week. Yeah. You literally have to get a job or, you know, it matures you, I think. Yeah. Um, but if you want to kind of stay young and just, do six form and, and you want structure, if you're not the sort of person that can deal with being on their own for three days a week, then don't go. Yeah, that's what I'd say. I used to like rely on teachers a lot to like help me with yeah, my Yeah, I, I did feel like we didn't get that much guidance. No, really at all. Because it's meant to be independent, like for our big final FMP, like for you guys who have A-levels, we have something called FMP, which is basically like a massive PowerPoint. You have like a month to do it you, you have like no time. time oh my god it's so no stressful. time to do it that's how stressed out we were that's why we didn't post for so long so we were like <laughs> literally like <laughs> in tears you get zero guidance because it's meant to be independent learning um so that was really really stressful and then also like yeah just the massive change of it like it's so, it's so weird but like even using your phone in class i was like it's so i can't even express to you how different it oh is oh my being, god uh, you, you can don't class you, you can want. wear whatever you want and you can just leave. You can. If you don't want to be there. You, you can, can just, just walk out. I know, you're an adult. I know, like you should, probably shouldn't do that, but you can literally just like, walk out of the college. You, you couldn't be asked. You left. All I no, it's because I had to go get my ID. I forgot my ID once. We yeah. were going out afterwards, so I just just fucked up. My teacher doesn't even know. <laughs> but like, I literally just left. You can. Like it's so. Like I, I ordered some food. It was downstairs. I just left the class. Like if you did that in our old school, you'd been shot. I mean, I wouldn't recommend doing that because you still want to no, get your education no. out of it. <laughs> But if say you needed to go home, you don't have to be like, or you don't have to ask to go to the toilet. Like, no. and it sounds, but when you look back on how strict school was, I think you had to be like, Miss, can I go to the you toilet? can just walk out. How strict is that? You don't say Miss either. No, you don't say. Oh my god, you call me by the first yeah. name. Yeah. How weird is that? Like when now we've adjusted to it. Like when I actually think back, it was so different. Yeah, it's such a big change. It's and so like, different. Even like lunch, I that was so weird for us. Like having. Uh, what restaurant should we go you to? You could literally just go wherever you want. You haven't, got, in, a cafe, you haven't got a cafeteria. In our school, shy. we couldn't leave. No. We had to just sit. I mean, like, oh, should we go to Nando's? Oh, should we go yeah, to... Yeah, like, it was oh, so it was weird. quite fun. It was we so to eat weird. We wanted. I would recommend going. I would recommend going. I had a really good time. And I'm so glad I did because it's very, like, I knew I wanted to go into fashion. And if if you want to go into fashion, it just makes sense. Like, don't stress out over A-levels. I will say, though, they didn't give i think we all found this that like we thought we were going to get more job opportunities out of it yeah like we kind of thought that they would like set Guide, you up more guidance businesses and be like okay you've got a job we're helping you get a job here but you don't yeah. get that like but then we don't want a job anyway maybe if we ask they they could help us but a lot of our friends thought that that like they should have been more helpful with job finding yeah. but maybe, but maybe they just assume that everyone's going to uni oh, because or... of covid they couldn't do that maybe. yeah I don't know. I don't know. But we would we would actually recommend it. I would go. I would definitely go all over again. It's just a shame for us because we missed 
the, the like fun parts yeah that we miss you know but the, the trips and we would recommend it and if you guys have any more questions let us know because we're gonna do basically a part two in a couple of months yes oh, when we got our results, results which is we should say what you can get as well what grades you can get yes yeah, so you don't come out like an a b c d no no you come out with a pass, pass merit distinction or is it pass high pass merit pass, distinction low merit merit high merit Distinction, low distinction. Oh, yeah, and you can, there's all different levels. Basically, okay. all of our unis, we need to get a pass, hopefully, a merit. Really, we need a merit. Really, yeah, we need a merit. I need a merit for mine. I don't know about you. I need a merit for mine. Yeah. I hope we've got a merit. Can you you guys it? will see when we open our results. Literally, the thing is, we work, we did work, we worked work so hard. hard. I know I did all I could. If we don't get merits, <laughs> we might have to sue the college. So, let's all just hope we get merits and. You guys will, you know, see us open it on camera, so that's really exciting. Really, actually. I'm not as bothered thing. about this as I was GCSE. No, like GCSE, was which is weird now. because this is more important than GCSE. This is like our uni grade, but you know what? YOLO, life short. <laughs> go to the college. We actually had a really, really good time. I think you should go. And I would do it all over again. I would go all over again. I would. I would never just... six time over that. No, I wouldn't. I was thinking mm -hmm. today, like, can you imagine still? Like, imagine just only just in high school, still having to wear uniform, still being told what to do it's so different no. it's so different no and let us know if any of you guys are going yeah comment down and see we, we do get Rachel. comments on tiktoks and stuff same i get dms being like i'm going it's interesting. interesting yeah go on tell us we'll see you guys in the next bye. video bye Mwah.